The latest graduates of Fredericksburg High School's Principles of Technology program will leave tomorrow morning for the U.S. Army Missile Range at White Sands, New Mexico. Like other graduates before them, the students will try to send a rocket 100,000 feet skyward to what the military regards as the edge of space. And only on KXA and Austin News here at 6, our Jim Swift tells us this time they might actually pull it off. You came here the very first launch we ever did, Redbird 1, out in the park. Remember that? Yeah. It happened at the Lady Bird Johnson City Park in Fredericksburg in 1997. With emergency crews standing by, students successfully launched their 14-foot rocket. Oh, no. No, shoot! Only to see its parachute fail to deploy. The result was a big mess. The rocket came down just 50 yards from a campground that had a half a dozen campers right in the middle of it. But nine years later, another group of students from Fredericksburg was at the White Sands Missile Range launching their own rocket, complete with a 35-pound payload to a height of some 36,000 feet. Congratulations, Alpha Delta. Another effort in 2008 fell short when the rocket lost something called an oxidizer and the engine quit at only 11,000 feet. This is what you wind up with after such a catastrophe. Ain't pretty, is it? The Army picked it up off the field at White Sands along with some chunks of broken hearts. Of course, it's a little depressing. Students can take it a little hard. I mean, not to an emotional extent, but, you know, it's like, gosh, they would have loved to see it fly. But they're the first ones that immediately start asking questions. You know, why didn't it work? And with what they learned from those who went before them, they tried again. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. This Friday, the latest Redbird rocket from Fredericksburg High School will stand tall on the White Sands missile launch pad, yearning to kiss the face of space. Jim Swift. KXAN, Austin News. Those students from Fredericksburg High are scheduled to launch at 11 o'clock Friday morning. Check in with us at KXAN.com later that day, and we'll let you know how they did.